Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Please forgive the rat nest that is my hair right now. I'm filming this video because I was going to do Bantu knots and since I've already had quite a few people ask me to make a video about it, um, about how I do them, how much product I use, what kind of product I use, I figured I would just do it now while I'm dressed. So with that being said, let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to be doing is parting my hair into four sections. That way I can easily detangle it with the product I'll be using to nourish my hair and keep my curls in place. And I do want to let you guys know that at this point my hair has been washed and it has gone through a deep condition and there are still products in it from the previous day such as my high porosity hair mask from Shea Moisture and a curl defining gel of which I can't remember the brand name. The oil and water based solution that I'm using consists of coconut oil, castor oil, olive oil, and peppermint oil. Its purpose is to stimulate hair growth and moisturize my hair while also adding luster, shine, and softness. I then follow up with my Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthen and Restore Leave-In Conditioner by Shea Moisture. Once I have a satisfactory amount of product in a particular section, I start to finger comb it and then follow up with my wide tooth comb to finish the detangling process. detangled each individual section of hair I then take out all of my little buns and go through my whole head with my wide tooth comb. This ensures that there aren't as many knots I have to deal with while actually creating the bantu knots themselves. your whole head into even sections or you can feel for it as you go along like I am. It's just your preference. When I do this hairstyle, I personally like to comb my hair over my face in the front because my bangs are kind of short and I like the effect of my curls cascading over my forehead when I take them out. I forgot to show you guys which gel I'm using for this particular hairstyle and it is the Olive Oil Eco Style Professional Styling Gel. I know there have been a lot of discrepancies over the effects it has on hair, but I personally have not experienced anything negative about it because I make sure not to use it too much.
to create the bantu knot itself, what I do is twist the section of hair around my fingers multiple times. Um, you can do it one or two times, I like to do it multiple, just to make sure that everything is stuck together with the product, and I really try to focus on my ends. As you twist the section of hair, you'll start to notice that it'll kind of begin to fold in on itself and you want to go along with this, but you're going to use your opposite hand to shape the curl. As I begin to wrap the hair around itself from the bottom of the Bantu knot, I then twist the Bantu knot counterclockwise with my other hand to loosen it as it's tightening from the bottom if that makes sense. You want to make sure that the bantu knot is not too tight because the key to a good bantu knot is not the tightness, it is the shape of the curl. This time around, I actually only kept the Bantu knots in for about two hours, um, surprisingly enough, and I think it's because I didn't apply as much product due to the fact that there was already product from the previous day in my hair, which allowed it to dry a lot faster than it normally would have. 